What is going on, YouTube? We're here with Mr. Vic. And I bought him a bone over there. And I'm fixing to go, I guess, do some cooking this evening. But if you have a little dog like this, it might be a good idea to have a scooter. What do you think, Vic? Huh? Like, I don't know. You don't know? All right. Well, let's, let's see what we're talking about. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yeah, buddy, let's get it. Man, I tell you, it's something about riding this bike wide the hell open that is uh, pretty fun, man. Like I can say, I pin the throttle on this all the time, and I ride it pretty damn aggressively, but, uh, you know, I'm not going really fast. That is something I can't do with the FZ07 or my Ninja. All right, let's go on through this here. Uh, what's this car doing? Man, these people never use their turn signals around here. Anyway, um, so I wonder if you guys um, have ever heard of anybody putting a, like a little chihuahua or something underneath the seat of your scooter. I think there's enough room in there. Now, it might not be a really good ride. Uh, I think uh, my dog Vic... You know, at one point when he was a puppy, I bet I could have fit him underneath the seat or uh, had a backpack and put him on that. But um, now, nah, right now, I think he would, uh, he definitely couldn't fit in that seat. And he's a little bit too big to strap on my back. It'd be a pillion. But uh, I wonder if anybody ever done that, man. Just stuck a little dog underneath the seat. And, you know, you probably have to stop and, uh, let it get air and stuff like that. That'd probably be a good idea, but it, it, it might be a possibility. This might be crazy, but you know, I'd, I'd be thinking about that. I'd be thinking about that. But anyway, you know, another good reason in all seriousness is uh, like, I, like I do a lot on this bike, man, is go grocery shopping. Um, and you know, I go went go buy Vic Bone and stuff like that. When he starts to become a pain in the ass around the house, you know, I'll just uh, give him a bone, one of them big old giant bones, and let him chew that thing up for hours on end. And then he doesn't bother stuff. He just really attacks the bone. But um, yeah, I'm about on empty right now. I don't know how much it's gonna cost to fill this thing up, but I bet it's pretty damn cheap. Uh, let's get on over here to this BP and uh, fuel her up. Oh, by the way, if you're going to put gas in, in a scooter or any two-wheel vehicle, I'd suggest go ahead and get, get that high-octane gas. It's good for the engine. The good thing about this one is it doesn't cost very much money at all to uh, put gas in it. As you see, man, I, you know what these clouds look like? It's about to rain out here, man. I don't know about that. 